King gets the scatter shot. Queen goes down, even with the freeze. That's late. Now he's got bass spells, and he's gonna drop them all on the town hall. Welcome back, ladies and gentle toast, to the next OP matchup. Today we got Navi versus Sister Petty. Were you here today in the Nepal Cup? It's week two of the Nepal Cup group stages still. And Sister Petty in first with a oh dude, this is old school Yetis. Super wizards. Spam everything in with a log launcher. Cross your fingers and pray to the clash gods that you don't miss the town hall. Here we go. Champions even in early. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Log launcher getting all the way through. Still got bat spells. Still got a rage spell. We used the warden ability super early. Here comes CC troops. There's our free spell in the town hall. Rage up the yetis. Rage up the archer queen. She went right up the gut toward the town hall. But if she locks onto the hound first. Oh, he's in big trouble. Oh, he's actually in big trouble. Queen has to fight the hound first. He's not getting the town hall. He's going to freeze the town hall again. Should have been able to hit an expo with it as well, but he missed. King gets the scatter shot. Queen goes down. Even with the freeze, that's late. Now he's got bass spells, and he's going to drop them all on the town hall. That's not how you do it. Rip. Oh, the Yeti from downtown? Question mark? <laughs> nope. Oh, no. Oh, this poor fellow. Rip. Who let him cook? 56%, and that's how the match is gonna get started. Oh, Ripperoni. Archers versus Lava Pups. Not gonna do anything else. Yikes. Lenthi is in with the first attack for Navi with 18 Super Hog Riders. Five skeleton spells. Oh gosh, he's going with a scary donut. Scary donut, huh? Got a golem as well. Let's see what he does. Where does he start the donut? Flame flinger on the bottom side. Here he goes. Not going for the CC building. Ooh, I don't think he can actually hit everything here, can he? The skeletons are dying, bro. He's getting the eagle, he's getting the expos, but these infernos are not dropping. He might have miscalculated his invis a little bit. He did indeed. The inferno towers stay up. He brought five skeleton spells and kind of swagged two of them. Flame Flinger on the south side of the base is getting some value. Sure. Couple super piggies. Sure. Does he think that's going to be good enough to distract the mortars? I don't know. <clears throat> the left one distracted for now. Barbarian. He can use Barbarian to distract the other one. This is using a lot of time, though. I mean, yeah, it's kind of working. All right. Now we got a Sui the town hall. Bro, he's already down to almost like 90 seconds left. This is kind of scary. What the? Bro, did Cynthia let his little brother use his iPad or what's going on? There's the quake. Wakes up the town hall. Hog Riders go straight through the town hall. Champion stuck on skellies. We're sitting in the Giga Poison. Lava Hound rocket balloons go into his piggies. What the? We got through the monolith. Champion's still healthy, but the Lava Hound, the rocket balloons do so much damage to the Super Hog Riders. The Flame Flinger had more Super Hogs on the bottom side. Road Champion moving along the right side. 50 seconds on the clock. There's the Tornado Trap on the bottom. King Queen moving around the right side. They are still healthy. RC stuck on the Hound. No Poison spell. Rocket Ooh. Balloons kill her anyway. This felt wonky. This is Cynthia not going to be able to get it done today. That was interesting. Very interesting. Queen goes to ability. Almost died through ability to the Rocket Balloon. 
The Infernos in the middle stay up. If the Skelly Donut had gotten those Infernos in the middle, dude, this still this would have like still tripled almost. That's crazy. That's crazy. Nice try, Mr. Cynthia, but this does fall short at 90, 90%. Dr. Wills is in with, can you guess it? A super archer blimp with a lot of super barbarians. Here we go. Here we go. Battle blimp from the right side. Lands right there. Clone, invis, ragey spell. Next invis. Going for the scatter shot. Going for the town hall. Should be able to pick up the monolith as well, which would be a huge bonus. Perfect invisibility placements, man. Down goes the monolith. Killing some CC troops. Maybe hit the champion a bit. Almost took out that Inferno Tower. Maybe that last archer can get it? Nope. But we got the Rage Tower. We got the Builder Hut there. Inferno Tower is low. Not going to get repaired. Pull the Hound over to the right. Trying to kill the champion. And we do. There goes the King, the Queen, the Ice Golem. The Warden on ground mode. Here we go. Got to worry about these Headhunters going for the Warden. They're going to do a lot of damage unless the Queen can snipe them quickly. She snipes them pretty quickly. Okay. All right. One ice golem dips out to the right. He's actually going to distract the hound forever. <laughs> nice ice golem. The queen doesn't have to worry about that for now. King pops ability. Then we pop the warden eternal tome. Is the queen going to go inside for the inferno tower? Uses the baby dragon to fight the hound. That might actually be a good idea. Queen goes inside. Here comes the champion. Warden gets targeted by an expo. Can Diggy save? The Warden, just in time. The Warden on 1 HP. Look at that. Look at that. Queen snipes the Eagle. Champion doing her thing. <clears throat> We're sprinkling in Super Barbarians to help support around the outside of the base. Baby Dragon does take out the Hound. Ice Golem freezes all the pups at the perfect time so Baby Dragon can snipe them all. It's like everything is going right on this attack right now. We already took out the enemy Queen with a couple of Super Barbs and the last two Headhunters. Actually, he still has one more Headhunter that he saved for the Barbarian King. Dude, this guy's a pro. Super Archer Blimp Gamer. He's got 55 seconds. Queen dips back around toward the right side of the base. That's actually going to help out with time as the champion's still moving around. Expo locks on, doing a lot of damage to her. No diggy lives to stun. Champion might die there, but the king getting some more value. Three more Super Barbs in his pocket. He saved a back end Headhunter, and he has the Queen ability. It should be enough to secure the three star for Sista Petty. Pop that Queen ability. Or not. Yeah, there we go. Boom, boom. Queen ability. King goes to Phoenix. Phoenix going to help out. Queen snipes the multi. Queen snipes the wizard tower. Still has enough time. The frosty distracting the expo. The frost mites slow down the expo. 99% and 100. It is a three star for Dr. Wills and Sister Petty are back in this match. Even after they got a one star. Man, the myth, the legend, Klaus Nos is in with a lot of hog riders and a recall spell as well cool let's see what he can do what can he do is it a skelly donut is it oh he dropped a freeze instead of an invis rip rip but he's going for the cc he's going for the inferno tower swag to freeze spell one more invis perfectly placed he gets the multi he gets the clan castle nice start except for the free spell Queen going for the town hall chamber. Okay. Rocket balloons on the right. And the battle blimp. Trying to get the scatter shot? I'm not sure if they do. Queen pops ability. Town hall will be secured. He's not getting the scatter shot like I think he wanted. Recalls the queen. Okay. He's waiting for the Rage Tower to expire, I think. And now that it expires, we're going to send everybody over here again. Golem, Queen redeployed, King, Headhunters are in. Alright. I think his wall breaker died early. Uh-oh. But King will beat on a wall. Queen's still doing her thing. Oh, that king's dying so fast. Ice golem on the right. 
Invis for the Queen. She'll pick up that right side scatter. Valkyrie. Headhunter. Ooh, we're not even going to get through that second scatter shot. He's got to send the hog soon. He's running out of time. Yeah, he's not picking up that scatter, dude. That's awkward. The expo stays up, too. And we're just going to send all the piggies from the left side of the base. Looking a little rough. Warden ability early. Rage into the rage tower section. Tornado trap spinning us in circles. No healing spells for these hog riders. Is going to be scary. Archer tower stayed up on the bottom side. We're starting to hit traps in the middle of the base. Giant bombs. Small bombs. Spring traps. Sending those hogs to the shadow realm. Champion still healthy with ability. Warden still healthy, but time's getting low. 45 seconds. RC moves up toward the top side. Still has the diggy. The stun. Wizards for cleanup being deployed up there. 35 seconds on the clock. Balloon for backup. It's just going to end up being a time fail. He already dropped all his wizards. He doesn't have that many, actually. I think he's just going to end up time failing this, bro. He was way too slow on the opener. Diggy stuns the scatter shot. The Warden's still helping. The Poison Lizard doing a lot of damage here. We get through the Tesla. We can pop the RC ability. Boom, boom, boom. Down go all the Archer Towers. RC and Warden could clear the rest of the base, but he runs out of time. Rip, Mr. Klausnos. Not going to be able to get it done. And we're going to be all tied up, guys. Four to four. I do think Navi have the better percent, but it's a tie now. Sister Petty in with some Queen Charge hybrid. Cool. Bruh. Queen and healers on the top side of the base. Monolith already locking on. Rage spell needed right away. Wall break up there. Okay. Queen to fight the king. Headhunter in the rage is going to come in clutch. I'm going to need another spell to get her through this monolith. Or ability. Freeze. 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 That works, I guess. Who needs a queen ability anyway? Not this guy. Down goes the air defense. Queen in for the town hall. There's the next rage. Town hall should be secured. Now we have to decide which side to hybrid from. The right or the left. The barbarian up there. Rage tower making these expos do double damage. is very scary. There's the king. There's the siege barracks. He's going to hybrid from the right. Can he keep this queen alive though? He needs to use another spell. There's the rage. There's the invis. Okay, that'll do for now. Hybrid making its way in. <clears throat> King to fight the queen. Sure. You see troops coming out. Queen needs a poison. Oh, the hound went to the hybrid. That's actually awkward. The champion's going to get stuck on it. That's really awkward. Queen hits the tornado trap, spinning in circles, doing her thing. Royal champion stuck on pups. Warden ability going off, saving all the miners, saving all the hoggies for now. Royal Champion taking a lot of damage from the Lava Pups. He didn't even get her in the Warren ability. Also kind of sad. Heal spell. There it is. Free spell. Doesn't hit the double damage multi. Pekka. Phoenix on the bottom side. Still getting some value. RC going to ability. Double damage expos. Double damage multis. Double damage eagle. Hitting us pr pretty hard right now. And no more spell support means the champion goes down. The warden goes down. The miners are all dead. Queen wraps around the outside here, but she won't be able to reach that Inferno Tower for a long time, which means the healers are going to get roasted and toasted. The eagle smashed the queen silly. She took a lot of damage there. I think the eagle's going to finish her off here in a second. And this is going to be a defense. It's actually so close, but it's going to be a defense. Rip the homie. Really good percent, but not the triple to get them the lead. It means Navi should still have the edge. <coughs> Not quite able to get through this air defense. Where is he? No. 88% for the homie with the queen charge hybrid. Very nice try. Azuma is in with some queen charge. How great is to give Navi the lead by a star. If he can hit a triple here. Let's see if he can do it. Got a flame flinger activated. Two invisibility spells. Queen deployed. Lots of balloons. Healers in behind. 
Champion early. Don't see that too often. RC goes to ability right away. He doesn't even pick up the expo. What? Oh, she was supposed to get the expo. Oh my gosh. For the to set up for the flame flinger. He's in trouble. He's gonna have to freeze again. Oh my gosh. And it, oh my gosh, it goes for the Archer Tower first. Oh my gosh, Kazuma. Oh, he messed up. He messed up. He should Oh my gosh. Ugh. This is a big rip. Queen going for the Town Hall. She will take that. Flameflinger already busted open. And he already swagged like five hogs trying to save it. Nice. Being on the top side with a skeleton spell to go toward the Eagle Artillery. That part works. Biggie's from the left and they don't have the Royal Champion to support. Queen gets locked onto by the Monolith. She's taking a lot of damage. We invis her. We pop the Warren ability. We rage the Hog Riders. King on the top side goes to Phoenix ability. There's a lot of Teslas over here by the Rage Tower setup. We got another couple of freezes to use. We could invis the Queen again. And we do. Freeze again for the Piggies. No healing spells. Thanks, man. I mean, if the Flame Flinger had survived and gotten all these defenses over here, this would have been a triple. I think the plan was solid, but he should have used that Invis spell for the champion to get the X spell, man. Yikes. Rage is his queen. She's still getting some value here. But now she's dead. Double damage king says, hello. And queen says, bye-bye. And it's going to be like a 92, 93% attack. Sister Petty. In with the next attack, more super barbarians. With a double clone setup. Cool. See what he can do. Balloons on the left side of the base with the warden on ground mode. Battle blimp is in. Two headhunters going for that archer queen. Warden ability. <laughs> oh, the perfect NATO from Synthi. Hey, yo, catches the blimp. Are there going to be two seeking air mines on the other side? There's one. There's two. Still gets into a decent spot. Does he have Super Wiz and Super Archers in that? I think he does. Interesting. But the Super Wizards just get stuck on the walls. I think all Super Archers would have been better. He's not going to get the Town Hall. Ooh. That's awkward. He doesn't get the Town Hall, guys. Already used his Grand Warden as well. Didn't get the Monolith or the Eagle. He might have to switch up the plan, go into recovery mode. He's just going to spam the King Queen on the bottom side, E Titan as well. <clears throat> Alright. Ice Golem, more Super Barbs on the right. Does the queen even path in toward the town hall? Hello, skeleton traps. E-Titan should kill them all super quickly. Oh my gosh. You blink and you miss the skellies because that E-Titan so fast. Queen pass perfectly. She'll get the town hall. Ain't going to go to the outside. He needs to maximize percent because we are still tied up. We are still tied up. Queen pops ability way too late. Dies through ability. King ability on the right side with a couple wall breakers. Phoenix should help him get a little bit more champions in. I think he should have just sent champion from like 12 o'clock to maximize percent. There's no way he can three star. RC in this spot only gets like two buildings. I think she only got one. Rip. We're at 71% and climbing. 72, 73. 
74, 75. Is that all? No, we can get a couple more. On the left, on the right, send them all in for the cannon. 78. We'll be able to get one more with two super barbs, right? Those for the storage. And gets it for 79% from the gamer. Nice try, homie. Nice try. Gaku is in. Usually Gaku's going like first or second. Today he's going fourth. All right. Let's see if he's got a good plan cooked up for us. Queen charge. Super barbarians with a jump spell. With an early battle blimp. Able to get a few defenses right away and a partial CC pool. I don't think he got everything. Queen on the bottom side. Oh. Queen going toward that Inferno Tower. Nice. Take the air defense. Take the Inferno. We're looking good. There's the king on the right side of the base. King will fight the queen. King will get the cannon. Another Coco Balloon searching for traps. Here come the rest of the CC troops. So we rage the queen. He drops a skeleton spell. What the? Why no poison? Gaku, you have a poison. Use your poison. He still hasn't used the poison. There's a jump spell. He's going to swag the poison spell. What in the world? Monolith locks onto the queen. He goes with the invis. Still didn't use the poison. His healers are in big time trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah. Another freeze, another rage. Poison towers hitting the healers, though. Most of them are low. Another freeze. He's using everything to keep this queen alive except the poison spell. <laughs> She's not going to make it all the way to the town hall. She's about to die because he's only got one healer left. Down goes the queen. Gaku might be in trouble. Uh oh. Maybe, yeah, maybe when he dropped that skeleton spell, he thought it was the poison. I don't know, man. It is like 2 a.m. in Japan, or is it even later than that? I might be wrong. They might be sleepy. RC for the town hall, does she get it? No. Yikes. In more super barbs. Rest of them on the left going for percent. He's got pops the warden ability right away. What the heck? If this is low percent, dude, Sista Petty might be able to take the lead. No, I don't think so. Navi should still have the lead. We'll check the percent after this, though. Sista Petty might be able to win this with a three star on their last hit. This one going to end here at 83. Nice try, Mr. Gaku. It's the Petty with the final attack of the match for their team. Another blimp into Super Barbarians. There's the Invis. Is it Super Archers? It should be. Invis. That was the clone. There's the clone. There's the Invis. Let them get the town hall. Go, go, go. Next Rage. Next Invis. <clears throat> they got the right side expo. They're going for the town hall. Can they get more? Can they get more stuff? One more Invis to let them fight the Lava Dog. Sure. Alright, what's next? He still has the Grand Warden to use, so... That's cool. King, Warden, Ice Golem, Archer Queen, E Titan, Head Hunter, Super Barbs on the outside of the base. Here we go. Here we go. Gotta be patient. See what they can do. King popping his ability. Well, Super Wall Breakers making their way inside. Pops the Warden ability as the King goes up with his Barbarians, getting some more value here. The wall breaker technically gives queen access to the right side multi. Does she go for it? She should. 
Bro, champions in on the top side. More super barbs. Ice golem on the left to distract. Queen snipes the right side multi. That's looking decent. Uh, no spell support though. It'd be tough to get all the way through the back end. Queen gonna take out this rage tower. She's gonna go back up. Pop her ability. RC's getting stuck on skelly traps. Gonna have to pop her ability. I think it's gonna fizzle out. Down goes the warden. Needs to send in the super barbarians. Distract for the royal champion. Without any more spells. Not looking amazing here. <clears throat> Sends more super barbs. Headhunters on the left side of the base. Champion fizzling out. And it's another defense for Kazuma. Sister Patty going to finish with 10 stars. But if stars can't hit a 3 star on the last attack, Sister Patty are actually the only ones who hit a 3 star in this match. But they also got a 1 star. Rip them. Going to be an 81 as he gets this gold storage. Nice try, dude. 81%. Stars no in. With some zap Lalo to end the match. Can he get a 3 star? Let's see. Seven lightning spells, no earthquake. Tells me he's going to zap right there. Or the Archer Queen. There's no other good option. Boom. Gets a lot of defenses with it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hound Battle Blimp. Balloons. Ooh. Is it just a Yeti Bomb? Looks like it. Not investing a Rage spell. Gets the full CC pool. Gets the scatter shot. Gets the builder hut. He's getting everything in that compartment. That's looking good. A lot of headhunters, super minions out of the defensive clan and castle. Alright. Poison spell is in. Nicely done with this poison spell. Even takes out the super minions. Beautiful. There's the king on the left side. Queen to join forces with him. Unicorn helping to support as well. The king goes inside for the scatter shot. That's perfect. It's in the Valkyrie. In case there's any skelly traps. Queen will make her way toward the expo with the ice golem. We got a couple wall breakers. Off the king ability. King can hopefully get the expo and the champion. Yes. Look at that king value. It's perfect. It is perfect. One more wall breaker. Queen has access to the Inferno Tower. That's exactly what he wanted. Now, where does he lalo? Still has a royal champion to deploy. He's going to go from the right. Here we go. Here we go. The eagle's already dead. Warden right here. Test the farm in front of the Barbarian King. More balloons from the top side. He's got a bunch of freezes. He can freeze the town hall. He can freeze the monolith. He can save the champion for the back end. He might even be able to swag the champion. I don't know. There's another freeze. There's a rage. Pops the warden ability. There's the champion on the top side of the base. Looking decent for Mr. Star's nose. Tornado trap spinning. But warden snipes the town hall. Finishes it off. Champion can come through on the top side. Queen busted through the wall. They tag team the Inferno Tower. Down go all the defenses. He swags the RC ability. And he swags two freeze spells. The base is crushed. And this is why Star's nose is the la low king it's a three star and a victory for navi today 11 to 10 90.4 percent to 80.8